Physics is all about understanding the fundamental laws that govern our universe. From the motion of planets to the behavior of subatomic particles, it's the science that ties everything together. But here's a thought. What if our understanding of physics doesn't truly reflect reality? What if it's just a model, a handy tool for explaining and predicting phenomena, but not the actual essence of how the universe operates? Consider the nature of reality. Physicist Niels Bohr once said, it is wrong to think that the task of physics is to find out how nature is. Physics concerns what we can say about nature. This is a crucial distinction. Instead of seeking an objective reality, physics focuses on what we can describe and predict. Imagine the universe as a vast library and physics as the language we use to read its books. The books themselves, the underlying reality, are beyond our direct comprehension. We can only interpret them through the lens of our chosen language. Now let's talk about quantum mechanics. This theory governs the behavior of particles at the smallest scales. It's not about revealing the true nature of particles, it's about predicting their behavior. Think of wave-particle duality. Particles exhibit both wave-like and particle-like properties, but what if this duality isn't inherent to the particles themselves? What if it's a consequence of our limited information about them? The role of the observer is another fascinating aspect. In quantum experiments, the act of measurement collapses the wave function, determining an outcome. But what if this collapse isn't a fundamental property of particles? What if it's a consequence of our interaction with them? John Archibald Wheeler famously coined the phrase it from bit, suggesting that the universe's fabric emerges from information. What if our reality is a sophisticated simulation like a computer program? Physics would then be the code that governs this simulation. In this scenario, the underlying reality might be vastly different, perhaps controlled by higher dimensional beings or existing in a matrix-like construct. Physicists have explored the idea of hidden variables, unknown factors that determine quantum outcomes. What if these variables exist, but we lack the tools to measure them? Bell's theorem and experimental tests suggest that particles can be entangled across vast distances, violating classical notions of locality. What if this non-locality reflects an information-based reality? Finally, let's consider the multiverse and many worlds hypotheses. String theory and the multiverse hypothesis propose that our universe is just one of many. Each universe follows different physical laws. Perhaps our physics is a local approximation, valid only within our cosmic bubble. Beyond it lies a vast landscape of other realities. So, is physics just a useful illusion? Maybe. But even if it is, it's an incredibly powerful one. Now, let's take our exploration even further. What if the universe were different? Imagine an ever-expanding ocean of universes, each with its own set of rules and properties. First, consider the cosmological multiverse, where bubble universes emerge from quantum fluctuations during the rapid expansion after the Big Bang. Picture cosmic space as a canvas, dotted with countless bubble universes. Travel far enough and you might encounter your cosmic twin, a copy of you living in a parallel world. Next, we have the string theory and the landscape multiverse. String theory, a theoretical framework, predicts an astronomical number of universes, perhaps 10 to the power of 500 or more. Each of these universes varies slightly in their physical parameters. In this multiverse, our universe's specific properties emerge from this vast landscape of possibilities. Then there's the quantum multiverse, based on the many worlds interpretation proposed by physicist Hugh Everett. According to this idea, quantum effects cause the universe to constantly split. Every decision we make spawns multiple parallel worlds. In one universe, you choose coffee in another, tea. These branches continue indefinitely, creating an intricate web of parallel realities. Now let's ponder some cosmic consequences. Imagine a universe with different physical constants. The delicate balance necessary for stars, planets and galaxies might not exist. Picture a cosmic void, devoid of celestial bodies, a universe where chemistry remains unexplored. What if the fusion processes in stars were altered? The periodic table would look vastly different, perhaps silicon-based life forms would dominate and we'd ponder the mysteries of silicate chemistry instead of carbon-based life. Finally, 
Consider the anthropic principle which suggests that our universe's conditions are finely tuned for intelligent life. If these conditions were slightly different, we might not be here to contemplate them. Maybe alternate versions of us thrive in parallel universes while we remain blissfully unaware. So what if the universe were different? Uh, now, let's venture into an even more perplexing question. What if time didn't exist? The question of whether time truly exists is a fascinating one, and it has intrigued both physicists and philosophers for centuries. Time as a fundamental property. In our everyday experience, time flows from past to present to future. We measure it with clocks, and it seems inseparable from reality. However, cutting-edge theories in physics suggest that time might not be a fundamental property of the universe. Instead, it could emerge from something more basic. Imagine waking up to a world where time no longer flows, a state of perpetual now. No past, no future, just the present moment. Theories of physics and existence. Theories of physics don't include physical objects like tables or chairs, yet we accept their existence. Similarly, even if time isn't fundamental, life can still go on as usual. Imagine a reality where the concept of time is merely an illusion, a convenient construct to make sense of our experiences. Causality beyond time. If time didn't exist, causality, the idea that one event causes another, could still persist. Cause and effect need not rely on a linear time axis. Perhaps causality itself is a fundamental property, transcending our usual perception of time. In such a universe, our understanding of events and their relationships would be profoundly different, the absence of existence. And what if we take this thought experiment one step further? What if the universe itself didn't exist? Imagine a cosmic emptiness where neither space nor time exists, no galaxies, no stars, no planets, just an eternal void. Without the universe, there would be no canvas for particles to dance upon, no fabric for reality to weave. The missing ingredients. Our universe emerged from the primordial singularity, an infinitely dense point, but what if that spark never ignited? Matter and antimatter should have annihilated each other, leaving only energy. No atoms, no molecules, no life, no sun to shine, no earth to orbit, and humanity wouldn't exist. The cosmic ballet of gravity, fusion, and evolution would remain unwritten. Alternate realities, perhaps parallel universes, thrive, each with its own laws of physics. In one, gravity repels, in another, time flows backward. Or maybe existence itself is a cosmic fluke, a rare note in the symphony of nothingness. As we ponder these mind-bending possibilities, remember that the nature of time and existence is one of the greatest mysteries of the cosmos.